What would you do if all of a sudden this all just went away? What if there was a massive economic crisis and funding to Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus was just slashed? I can't wait for the part where everybody says that could never happen either. It's impossible. It's such a priority. Whatever. I'm not interested in thinking about all the reasons why it might happen. I'm interested in never taking anything for granted. I don't know if you guys remember, but our city looked and felt like crap for a long time because people said a lot of different things would never happen. This is the pattern every group seems to go through throughout all of history. Things are good. How could that ever go away? Things get bad. They'll never get better again. And it takes a lot of resolve from a few relentless people to finally push that momentum back to turning things around again. I'm a big believer in holding that resolve, especially when things seem good. Kevin Gardner from Five Points Bakery told me one time, the thing about sustainability is that you actually have to sustain it. I don't think the vast majority of human beings realize how hard it is to sustain something. You know what I think makes sustainability so hard at the core of everything? There's no such thing as victory. That's the hard part. Think of anyone you know who's deeply rooted in a cause. They're true blue, they pour their heart and soul into it, they're the spokesperson for doing the right thing, and then they get burnt out. They get jaded, somebody screwed them, the project they put their life into fell through, and they're out. I hope you remind me of this when I start to forget it because this is the price of making things better. There's no victory, there's no finish line, and that can be a very lonely thing because you want to accomplish something. That's why we put our faith in other people to begin with. We want hope, we want to know that other people will be there, who share whatever personal crusade we're on, so that it's not so daunting. But if it's really important enough to be a personal crusade, then how can we put that on anyone else? What if Newell Nussbaumer just says, Peace, Buffalo. I'm going to start Fort Lauderdale Rising. What if Justin Booth is like, Get a car, losers. I'm not working on this anymore. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Is working on Buffalo still as important as we said it was in the first place? This is contrary to a lot of what I say all the time, which is that it's all about the long term. It is. Your progress, your life's work is all about the long term because it's unending. We can count all these little victories as points. It is good to celebrate for morale's sake, especially for the people that are in it, the ones who are actually grinding, but the scoreboard resets every single time. Awesome new restaurants in town, new apartments, new companies. Oh wait, dessert is over. Rich products and the 7,000 people that work for them, gone overnight. Are you going to put all your eggs in the basket of KeyBank keeping a full office in Larkinville? Are you going to put all your faith in Solar City if they lose three quarters of a billion dollars this year? Or are you going to spring into action without flinching? This is the difference between us and 1960s Buffalo. They didn't think about their city in these terms. They thought the largest steel company in America straight up closing or boarding up Main Street, that will never happen. And if they had internet message boards and social media, they would list out all the reasons how that could never happen. We're thinking about it. I hope to God M&T Bank never moves to Baltimore, but if they did, I would want to know what I as one single citizen would do about it. I'm going full into the causes I care about, somehow even crazier into my business, maybe even start showing other people how to build an online business so they don't have to move. What are you going to do? Are you going to bring people together, start a side job, clean up the garbage in the street? I am never going back to the way it was. It took people 40 years to get to work on crap that they should have jumped on as soon as that Courier Express dropped the bad news on their front porch. They were stuck. They were in loser mode. It's a lot easier to not freeze up when you don't take it for granted. We're not going back to that. We've got so much more to do. We'll never get to jump for joy and say we made it. But things really are so much better than they used to be. Our team is ready. When we start to get a little chubby, a little complacent like the old guard, it's time to focus up. The score is always 0-0.